Welcome to the Viking Repair Parts video. My name is John Kramer and I will be walking you through the repair parts step by step for the Viking Model H1 pneumatic actuator. Here are the tools that will be needed for the repair parts. Prior to working on the H1 pneumatic actuator, refer to the appropriate technical data sheets for placing the system out of service. The repair parts offered in the maintenance kit are as follows. Upper diaphragm, piston, hex head screws, lower diaphragm, spring pad, and the spring. To disassemble the pneumatic actuator and replace the components, start by removing the hex head screws from the cover. With the screws now removed, the cover can be removed from the pneumatic actuator. We can remove the upper diaphragm, the piston, the spacer, the lower diaphragm, the spring pad, and the spring from the body. To install the parts of the maintenance kit, first start by installing the spring into the body of the pneumatic actuator. The lower diaphragm can now be installed into the spacer. Install the upper diaphragm onto the cover. Place the piston onto the upper diaphragm. Install the spacer and lower diaphragm onto the piston. We can now install the spring pad. Next, line up the holes of the spacer, the cover, and the two diaphragms making sure the burr side of the spring pad is facing away from the lower diaphragm. Install the assembly onto the body, making sure to line up the holes of the cover, spacer, and the two diaphragms with the body. Hand thread in each of the cover screws, and once they're hand threaded in, tighten them down. This concludes the repair parts video for installing the maintenance kit in the Viking Model H1 pneumatic actuator. If you need additional information or have additional questions, please visit our website at vikinggroupinc.com or call our toll-free number at 877-384-5464.